In this segment, we're going to take a look at the Open and Save features. And they're found here on your desktop. Open and Save. You can also find an option to Open and Save under the File drop-down menu. So we have Open, Save, and Save As. So I'll go ahead and choose Open. And when I choose Open, this window appears. And basically, this gives you the ability to browse your computer. So these are the sort of shortcuts to common places on your computer that you may wish to browse. And so, for example, I'm looking in the folder Embroidery Album. And if I click on this little sort of arrow right here, I can see the path, you know, where exactly I'm looking. So I had browsed to the My Documents folder, and under there I found an album that was for the um, embroidery album. And this is something that was installed with the Digitizer software. And so we should all have the same folder. So I go ahead and open up that folder, and it'll show me the contents of the folder. Now, down at the bottom here, I have, it tells me the type of file that I'm looking at. And so I'm currently looking for Janome Digitizer JAN files. But if I want to, I can click on this arrow and I can change to any of these different formats. So this is the list of formats that I'm able to open using Digitizer software. And so if you wanted to narrow your search into be a different format, so maybe you've downloaded some designs and they're in a different format, then you can specifically search for just that file. And then of course you have the option at the bottom to search for all files, which will show you um, not just the embroidery files, but artwork files and all embroidery formats. So that shows you everything. Now, if I go ahead and select on one of these designs, I'll click on this African, it shows me in the preview window um, an image of what that design looks like and it tells me the number of stitches, number of colors, and the size for that design. So basically that's what you would do for opening a design. Um, these, would, these arrows here just relate to um, you know, browsing around. This would take you back up a folder and um, I'll just go back into the folder. This is to create a new folder which is more for when you're saving designs versus opening designs and this is just your um, type of ways that you're viewing. So right now we have the designs listed in the details view actually in the list view view but for example if I chose to go to thumbnails then it would show me the designs in a thumbnail view so you can change it's the same designs in the same folder it's just how you're displaying them so if I go to details then it gives me the designs with a little bit of information beside them so that's your options for changing from thumbnails to you know the list view I guess Anyway, once you select a design that you'd like to open, you simply say open, and that design gets opened into the Digitizer software. So, now that you have a design open on your screen, if you wanted to save that design, well, at any time I could just simply come up here and click the Save button. And basically it tells me it opens up the same Save As um, screen, and this is my ability to choose where I'm going to save it. So do I want to save it back to the same place or do I want to choose a new location? Then I could change to a you know, different location like for example my desktop um, or wherever. And so you, once you've selected your location and this is what I was saying if I wanted to make a new folder to keep myself organized I could create a new folder right now by just pushing on this button and it says uh, new folder and then you would just call it I don't know um, training Oh, that's not dr yeah training so i make a new folder called training push enter double click on the folder to go inside of it so now i'm saving in the folder training and the african design now this is where you get to choose what format you want to save your design and by default digitizer will always try and save as a jan file and the jan file is your original file um, but you can change to a different number of formats. So for example, this is the list of formats that we could save as. So you have all the different previous versions of Janome Digitizer and this is helpful uh, if you have a friend that also uses Digitizer software but you're not both using the same version. You can save a JAN file backwards to different versions. And then you have the different Janome and Stitch formats like Jeff and So and we have other brands that we can also save to their formats as well.
So I'll leave mine as Jan and go ahead and say save. That's great. Now that I have saved my design, at any time I can just come up and push the save button and it will automatically save to that location of my computer and, and basically um, updates the file. But if for whatever reason you wanted to make a new version of your design, maybe you've made um, a small one and now you've created some edits to do a larger size and you want to save it as a new name, you could come to your file drop down menu, say file, save as. And now instead of saving it just as the same, I, I could change the location if I wanted to. Again, I could choose a new format or maybe I just want to give it a different name call it African larger and that way I could have for example a small version and a large version of the same design that has had some you know edits made to it so anyway that's some specific details about how to use the new or sorry the open and the save functions in digitizer software